You got up so early this morning, you little early bird. You sure you can handle this debate? Are you kidding me? Plus, I drank four cups of coffee 20 minutes ago. Let's do this. So I like to stay up late at night to get most of my work done. Whereas I get up early in the morning and I seize the day. And I know people can relate to one person more than the other. And there's a lot of science behind why. So today, we are going to debate which one's better. And you're going to let us know who wins. So the traits of being an early bird versus a night owl are genetically predetermined, and it's because our ancestors wanted to have people awake at all times to have 24-7 protection. So therefore, someone would have to be awake at night to protect, or awake during the day to protect. So essentially, you got this passed down from your mama. And I don't want to say your mama joke, but your mama made you stay up late. Oh! <laughs> Is that a joke? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so a lot of social studies have shown that my people, night owls, are actually more creative and take more risks. And I mean, heavy you ever been skydiving? Because I have. I don't think you have. Have you? I haven't. I haven't. haven't. <laughs> but I also hated it. It was like awful. But I still did it. I still took the risk. Okay, true. What's the riskiest thing you've done? Stand near you. <laughs> Well, even if you are more creative, in society we need good grades to do well. And a study found that university students who were more prone to be night owls got worse grades and were also more likely to be addicted to alcohol and food. <laughs> I seem to remember you drinking a lot and eating a lot in both university and last night. So, <laughs> about that study. <laughs> are you sure you weren't just referring to the old wives tale saying, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise, because that's bull. And studies have actually found when comparing them that late night owls actually have higher incomes, are the same cognitively, and have more access to cars. Teslas? <laughs> well, because we got Teslas. <laughs> no, we don't. I think we do. The screens on the devices that we all use can affect the melatonin levels in our body and can physiologically trick our bodies into being more awake. And seeing as you're so addicted to your phone and looking at it all the time before bed, maybe you're not actually a night owl. You're just looking at your phone all the time and waking yourself up. Unlike me, who reads an intellectually stimulating book every night and then does 20 minutes of meditative yoga before bed. Well, on the other hand, for the most part, teenagers are night owls because of their hormones, but also because of increased socialization. So maybe I'm just a whole lot more youthful and sociable, unlike <laughs> yourself, who spends most of his time Googling whales. Whale yeah. <laughs> well, we are rare. One study found that of the participants, 17% were night owls, and only 1% were early morning risers like me. So we're hip, we're new, we're fresh. <laughs> Your faves can't, we're slang. But the increased cortisol in night owls actually makes us bigger risk takers, but yeah. it also means we make more money. So you want those new Nike Hirachis? Cause I got rich lifestyle, the rich the famous. You want some? Yeah. <laughs> Cough, cough. One study found that of 676 adults, it was the evening types that were more likely to be lifelong smokers. <coughs> yeah, but couldn't the stimulants in the smoke been what was keeping those people up in the first place? Cause and effect, burn! <laughs> this one's a game changer because even though early birds and night owls have the same amount of sex, it turns out- Nice! That, yeah, <laughs> turns out night owls have more partners though. Ew, that's gross. Uh, I don't think you want to slut shame me right now. <laughs> true, true. True. Studies show that us early birds are more cooperative and procrastinate less, which might explain why I'm always getting things done while you're sleeping. <laughs> and when people say, Greg, do this, I do it. <laughs> Sorry. Well, at least one thing that we can agree on is that it's an evolutionary advantage to have both night owls and early birds in the yeah, family. Yeah, so maybe yeah. your parents were more one than mine mm -hmm. and mine the opposite. And okay. collectively, maybe that means that we will together be good parents. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. so we're going to raise a kid. Because I've got adoption papers right <laughs> here, and I just need you to sign right here, okay? Um, there. Come back in 10 years. <laughs> All right, so it's time to find out who won this debate. Let <laughs> us know in the comments below and suggest future debates for us. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos. We'll see you next week. And as you all have learned, the early bird gets the worm. <laughs> what? Oh, you know what? But the second mouse gets the cheese. Be more mouse-like. I think we could all be more mousy in 2017. Be mousy. <laughs> That's our next debate. Being a mouse versus not. <laughs> See you then. <laughs>